guys welcome back to our channel today's session i am going to discuss about uh, how to design nand operation and nor operation using post transistor logic so previous videos we discussed what is the concept of post transistor and why the designer prefer post transistor logic in vlsi design so all those concepts we discussed in previous video if needed kindly refer the videos now come to the topic so in this video first i design nand gate using post transistor so first i draw the symbol of nand gate so it's a symbol input variables of a and b so output is y so the boolean expression of y equal to a dot b bar so it's a boolean expression for nand gate now i am going to write the truth table so in this nand gate we have a two variable so a and b is the input variable so it make four combinations of input and y is the output of nand gate so what is the property of nand gate so both the inputs are high level the corresponding output is zero rest of the case the output values set to be one so it's a truth table of nand gate so now i am going to design post transistor logic for nand gate so here i am taking two nmos transistor so this transistor name is t1 and another transistor name is t2 so output of this two transistor is short and get the final result so y equal to a dot b the whole power so it's a boolean expression for nand gate so in this uh, post transistor we have a two input value so one is considered as a controlling input another one is a primary input so here b is the control input so b is considered as control input so a is the primary input. so based on the control input value the result will be produced in the post transistor so first case b value equal to 0 so just to verify with the truth table so b value equal to 0 in this case output value is 1 so when b value equal to 0 the result is 1 so here just to verify this a value so a value is 0 and 1 so irrespective of this a value the result is 1 so when b value equal to 0 the output is said to be 1 so input of this case so b value equal to 0 so let me take this transistor t1 transistor so input value is said to be 1 because output value is 1 when b value equal to 0 this 1 is passed to output side so now output we will get this one so this t1 transistor is turned on this one is transferred to output side then next case b value equal to 1 so b value equal to 1 so in this case a value is 0 and another input is 1 the corresponding output is 1 and 0 just to take the complement of a value so here a value is 0 output is a bar here a value is 1 output is a bar so here y equal to a bar so when b value equal to 1 y equal to a bar so b value equal to 1 y equal to a bar so input of this transistor is a bar the process of this transistor is a bar dot b so you will get the result just to b value equal to 1 so b value equal to 1 in the sense the transistor t2 is turn on just to complement of this values so this value is transferred to output so this is the basic operation of nand gate using post transistor now we move on the nor gate preparation so it's a symbol of nor gate So inputs are a and b. Y is the output. So the Boolean expression is a plus b the whole bar. Then write the truth table. 
a b is the input variable y is the output variable so it make four combinations of input so 0001011 so output of uh, nor gate is 0 sorry 1 0 0 0 so it's a truth table of nor gate now i am going to design post transistor logic for nor gate so in this transistor logic i am taking two nmos transistor so put a short and get the final result y equal to a plus b the whole bar so b is the control signal so b bar on b so when b value equal to 0 first case when b value equal to 0 the corresponding output is 1 and 0 just to check the a value with this output so a is 0 y equal to 1 so a is 1 y equal to 0 just to taking complement of a is equal to y so when b equal to 0 y equal to a bar then come to the next case b value equal to 1 so b value equal to 1 so in this case irrespective of a value so a value is 0 and 1 but the result is 0 but the result is 0 so y equal to 0 so using this logic you assign the input values for this post transistor t1 and t2 t1 and t2 so when b value equal to 0 y equal to a bar so input of t1 transistor is a bar and input of t2 transistor is 0 so this two input is assigned to t1 transistor and t2 transistor based on the control signal it provides the output result so let me take this input value so a value 1 b value 0 so first case b value is 0 so b value is 0 in the sense the t1 transistor is turn on t2 transistor is turn off so only this transistor is turn on so this a bar value so a value is 1 a bar in the sense this value is 0 so this 0 is transferred to output side so this 0 is transferred to output side now output value is set to be 0 so you can get the result 0 then I check the another input a value 0 and b value 0 so b value is 0 so in this case also this transistor is turned on so a value is 0 so a power value is set to be 1 so this 1 is transferred to output side so in this case the result is 1 so using this logic you verify all the input conditions for NOR gate so i hope you understood the concept very well so if you are watching first time in my channel kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos thanks for watching my channel thank you